want to walk through what I've done with this drum set. This is something that um, it works great. I'm using it as a controller for my MIDI kit and MIDI setup so I can record like on real drums because I'm playing real drums, but it's triggering. And so everything is being triggered. So if I play this, I'm going to play it with the sounds on so we'll hear what it sounds like with the kit that I'm triggering. Okay, so I'm hearing drums. However, what I'm feeling and what I'm getting to play is an acoustic kit. And this is using the mesh heads. So these are made by Remo. They're a mesh head, so they're very quiet. I'll turn them off in a second so we can hear it without the, without the drum sounds. And then I just have regular triggers for the cymbals and a trigger pad for the hi-hat. And so I'm utilizing a real kit, plays like a real kit, responds like a real kit, um, even has a little bit of a sound like a real kit, especially the snare drum. You really get the sound of the, of the snare drum, but yet I'm triggering and I'm playing MIDI drum kit, whatever drums I select in my software. So I can track on this, a very realistic kind of a feel, so I can get great sounding tracks, and then I can edit them, I can do whatever I want, I can choose whatever song, sounds that I want using virtual instruments. So for the drum heads, I'm using these Remo Silent Stroke heads, which these are great. They feel like a head, they respond like a head, they actually kind of even sound like a head, but they just don't have any sound. They're just very quiet. So if I play it, it's just very light, responds, I can bounce, I can do buzzes. It's actually triggering. You can see the trigger on here. I have a D-drum triggers, these chrome triggers. I have those on all the drums. These respond great and really give me a very realistic feel to the overall kit. Now those triggers are running into the Yamaha DTX-502 drum brain, which to me is one of the best values in all electronic drums that we sell at Sweetwater. I mean, it's just fantastic. It's very inexpensive. It's got a bunch of great sounds if you want to use the built-in sounds. And obviously in this situation, it's acting as a trigger device. So it's converting my triggers into MIDI data, which then is being sent via USB to my computer. And so all the triggers are being plugged into that, cymbals, toms, everything. And as you notice, like if I'm tapping on this, it's very sensitive I and mean, very realistic. I mean, it responds like a drum. And pretty good velocity. So I got great response for the overall kit. So again, the great thing about this kit in this situation is that I can record the data, I can record the performance, and then I can change to any sounds I want. Another great use for this, I haven't done it yet, but something I want to try is using this in a church environment where the volume obviously is nothing basically, and you still get that great big real drum sound by using great virtual instruments. So it's a great solution for that too. Now the cymbal thing's a little trickier because you don't get, you know, with an, with an electronic cymbal, you don't get quite the response. It's not the same as a regular cymbal, but these do a pretty good job. And again, if you have a great sample library, that really helps a lot. Here's what the drums sound like on their own. So again, another great tool for just practicing, quiet practicing with a real drum set. Responds, bounces like a drum. So silent practice. So you have a very quiet kid. As you notice, the snares, you can hear that a little bit. I can turn them off. I lose that snappy snare sound, but it's still, again, very quiet. I have good technique on it, bounces, gives me a response, all the things I want from a regular drum head. And yet I have, I mean, way less than half, <laughs> a very small amount of the volume 
very, very quiet. And again, responds just the way I want it to respond. The only thing that you got to little get used to is the bass drum. It's very bouncy with that head. It's a very bouncy head. So that takes a little getting used to, but once you get a feel for that, then it's pretty straightforward. You, just, you can get comfortable with it and it works well. So that's the, uh, that's the Remo Silent Stroke heads and kind of this whole electronic hybrid kind of a drum set. Um, great tool, great tool for a lot of different ways of utilizing it. Practice, utilizing it as a drum controller, uh, utilizing it for volume control. So a whole bunch of different applications and really a great, a great product for that kind of a thing.